So we're still inside that anticipated blackout window. It does look like we are getting uh, maybe some sporadic data starting to peek through. That's why you heard that communications check with the spacecraft. Dragon SpaceX comm check. Never has you loud and clear. We're about 3.9 G. Copy, we've got you five by five as well, Doug. Looking good, and you can expect an automated shoot deployment. Copy, good shoot deployment. All right, really good news there. We have come out of the blackout period and we have reestablished connection with Dragon Endeavor with NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley on board. We were able to reacquire that communication a little bit earlier than expected. And now we are just waiting. We should just be about two and a half minutes away from that initial drogue shoot deploy. Yeah, two minutes and 26 seconds. A GPS has converged. Copy that. You may have heard earlier that Bob and Doug are currently experiencing 3.5 Gs. Not too bad, that's about what they pulled during the ascent phase. Just like a mild roller coaster. So the vehicle is now over the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, it is approaching the landing zone uh, off the coast of Florida near Pensacola. And there we have our first shot. There it is. This. The first view from the WB-57 airplane. It is dipping in and out a little bit. This is going to be an infrared camera showing us Dragon re-entering. We have that comm back with Bob and Doug. Uh, you heard a GPS is converging. Uh, Dragon has uh, three GPS units that it uses uh, actually in the parachute deployment process uh, as it helps uh, along with the pressure sensors really give a solid altitude to the flight computers on when these are supposed to deploy. We're standing by for the drogue shoot deployments. We should be just under five minutes away from splashdown. Passing 15 kilometers, brace for drogue window. Kathy, we're braced. About 14 kilometers in altitude, 8.4 miles, continuing to descend. There on your screen, we have a shot of the capsule as it is preparing to deploy those initial parachutes, the drogue parachutes. Again, these parachutes help slow the vehicle down even further and help stabilize in preparation for main chute deployment. Right about now, the capsule is going about 400 miles per hour, decelerating quickly. And standing by for drogue deploys. Visual, two drogues out. There on your screen, we have visual confirmation of those two drogue deployments. Happy do drogue. All right, so two of two, the drogues now out. They're gonna do their slowing and stabilizing of the Dragon spacecraft. They should be detaching in just a few moments, and then we'll see four parachutes, the main parachutes deployed. Dragon under drogues. Drogue descent rate nominal. The expected descent rate, the expected velocity under the drogues nominal. We're right at around 150 miles an hour and already dropping. You can see the drogues now detach. And there we have confirmation of deployment of the four main parachutes. We are visual on four chutes out. We are visual. Four main parachutes deployed. Four main.
So at this point, the main parachutes have deployed. They are inflating, as you can see there on your screen, continuing to slow Dragon down significantly. We are anticipating splashdown in just under two minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, we've already slowed the vehicle down to about 16 miles an hour. It's already less than a kilometer in altitude. Main chute descent rate nominal, passing through 700 meters. So at this point, Dragon has saved all propulsion systems on 600 board. 600 meters. 600 meters. And we're 600 meters above the Gulf of Mexico. Should be approximately a minute 30 from splashdown. Mission Control Team here in Hawthorne has reported the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team. They are standing by, ready to go get our space dads. We just passed about 300 meters, one minute till splashdown. Two hundred meters. We are brace for splashdown. Copy brace for splashdown. So there we heard Bob and Doug reporting that they are bracing for a splashdown. We should be able to see uh, the Gulf of Mexico here in the shot just momentarily, as we're now just about twenty meters off the ocean. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for Splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see Splashdown and mains cut. Dragon Endeavor has returned home. NASA astronauts and Bob Endeavor and Doug. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. <laughs> It's truly our honor and privilege to fly the flight of the uh, Crew Dragon and Endeavor. Congratulations, everybody at SpaceX. Uh, all good, and we're uh, into section of four decimal eight zero zero. Thanks for those words, Doug, and we uh, copy that you are into uh, four decimal eight zero zero. So great news all around there. Our space dads are back on Earth after a 19-hour return journey from space. Dragon Endeavor has splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico, just off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. And on your screen there, you can see our two fast boats, and they are indeed fast, <laughs> racing out to greet Dragon Endeavor as uh, it sits there. The first on there we can see a view inside the capsule. Bob and Doug looking good. Although the communication was a little choppy, we did Stay hear. Next, uh, endeavor in three decimal one, we show ourselves in stable one. And SpaceX copies for uh, vehicle assessment, step three decimal one, stable one. Good news. Stable one, essentially. They're upright in the water, stable two. Uh, also, an